I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily to do these love readings for you, any and all signs. All of you are welcome. Please do smash the like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay. Let's get into this. All right, we're going to take a look at your weekend reading for the collective. See what the messages are for October 13th through the 15th. What does the collective need to know for the weekend? All signs, messages for the weekend for the collective. What messages, spirit, can you give for the collective? for the weekend. Okay. Now you've got Cupid's arrows again here. Having faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting. And a little bit of hesitation here. Okay. Wow, you also have lightning. A sudden change, shocking news. Another surprise. Epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Wow. Looks like you're going to have some type of surprise, a surprise happen over the weekend, for sure. Um, quite unexpected. Surprise invitation or a surprise meeting with some, there's something major happening over your weekend. Doesn't necessarily have to be about love. Some type of surprise. The lightning is a tower. There's some type of shocking event or shocking situation happening in your area. It could have to do with love. You might be shocked to hear some hear from someone or shocked by some type of situation uh, revolving, in, involving a person, place, or thing or a revolving situation that comes back around. Uh, there may be somebody who's a bit obsessed with you, uh, showing their face. You might be dealing with a stalker as well over this weekend um, that maybe you thought you got rid of or you thought that this person was put in restraints, maybe a restraining order on someone. They kind of like pop up at your door. They show up. Um, that's a little bit of a shocker. Yes, um, little possessive energy, I feel. Be careful with that. I don't, listen, I'm, I'm not seeing anything major. I don't feel like you, it's just a creepy thing. I mean, it is Friday the 13th and Friday. I feel like be a little bit careful. I'm not trying to scare you, but it is spooky season. Um, we're getting close. Um, just be careful over this weekend. That's all I feel like to tell you. Um, I mean, you do have Cupid's arrows, so that is a good thing. <clears throat> but depends um, on who's shooting those darts your way. Let me get into a little bit of the tarot here and see what's going on for your weekend. Hmm. Definitely some shocking, unexpected news. A um, little bit of a tower moment. Okay, Knight of Swords. Hmm. I mean, there is definitely like some kind of thing that's going to affect your life over this weekend. Could be positive, you know, the tower isn't necessarily... A it brings change, I'll tell you that. And sometimes it's unwanted change. Uh, and sometimes it affords the opportunity to build something, to rebuild or have something better. It really just depends. But the Knight of Swords, that does represent like a lifestyle change of some sort. So it's coming in clear and direct and very fiercely. 
this energy. It's kind of like, it's like a charged energy. It's very charged. Hmm. We have protection and power. You definitely have the strength. If this is something that you may need to block or defend, you definitely have the strength for this. I, I feel like you need to know that. You might be very strong or a very strong person physically, um, or you have the mental fortitude to deal with this. Or this is just someone who... There's Leo energy as well. Someone who's very protective or will protect you or you have protection around you or you can call on protection to... I'm feeling on guard. I'm hearing. I'm not. Fe well, I'm feeling it, but I'm hearing on guard. So, uh, you can call on the guards. You can call on the guards to protect you. I'm hearing if you need that. Or you can stand guard. Um... If it's something where it could be creepy, okay? No, but I'm also with those Cupid's arrows. All right, I'm just going to go that way. I'm just going that way. That's the way it's going. I keep, I feel like, I feel like it's me who's trying to turn it into something else, but Spirit keeps saying, no, give the straight message. There's like a, there's like a little bit of a creepy vibe to this. On the 13th, and I feel I'm starting on the 13th, going through the weekend. And I just feel, you know, put some eyes in the back of your head. Stay around people who are safe. Um, if anybody's knocking at your door at like 4 o'clock in the morning, pay attention to that. Don't open the door. Um, go stay with people who are near, like, like you trust, you know. Um, make sure you get your... Security cameras fixed. Don't be out late at night walking around. If you if you are allowed to carry, protect yourself. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> this there's a hidden energy. Now listen, I'm not trying to. This is not like a like. Oh my God, you gotta like you know be careful because this isn't a message for everybody. Um, you might be someone who, um, works in a jail, you know, so this is what you do every day. You might be someone who is like a security guard or maybe you're in the military, you know, so for some of you, this is like, yeah, yeah, okay. So you're just saying things are heating up. Yeah, a little bit. If you're someone who's like lives in a safe community and this isn't something you're normal or you live isolated out somewhere in a farm, um... I could see where this might freak you out a little bit. You should always be uh, keeping your eyes in, in the back of your head, but don't walk around paranoid. Um, somebody might just be trying to steal your pig, you know, so I wouldn't try to worry too, too much, you know. Um, but I think that there's something here where I feel like with the High Priestess, there's a silent energy that's kind of covert that you might not really, it's hidden, okay? There's a secret, uh, they're just saying, it's crazy, they're giving me like some covert ops, there's co covert, is that even a thing? They're saying covert operative, covert ops, co, I don't know if there's a term, they're just giving me covert ops, co, Secret ops. Psyops? I don't even know what that means. I've seen that written somewhere, but I don't know what it means. So I'm sorry if I'm wrong, if I'm saying the wrong thing, but something's very secretive here. And it's either something that's surrounding you specifically or in your area. Or um, just be careful. Let me see. Get your dog. Look, some of you... Maybe you have a dog, guard dog. That's a big dog. Or, I don't know. Maybe your cat is fierce. Um, pets, animals, they have really good instincts. So pay attention. Keep your eyes on your animals because they'll let you know. They, they sense things. They'll let you know if something is um, afoot. <laughs> 
they sense things before things happen. Um, for some of you, this might even be uh, an unexpected um A tower can be like um, an unexpected weather event or um, a ground shaker kind of thing or um, geographical event, you know? Animals always pick that stuff up. All right, the good news is, all right, oh, well, now they're just saying, um, if you're in a position of, um, look, this six of wands, this person on this horse is basically um, someone who's recognized. Um, now, this might not be you. This could be someone that you know that's kind of got a target on their back. Um, all right, there might be something happening over this weekend that uh, you might see or hear about that could be very distant to you. Um, I'm making a world prediction here. Um, that's out in the public domain. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I could say this stuff on YouTube. I mean, geez. Um, this feels political. I don't usually do these readings, but there's some... There's something happening here. There's like a political thing. Um, there's something happening. Some kind of political thing. This is like a JFK kind of thing. Um, I'm not going to use the word, but let's just say um, it's another word for a donkey. <clears throat> let's just say it's like an ass nation. Something's happening here. Or something along those lines. Something pretty heavy duty. Not you. Oh, yeah. Oh, this feels like it's a very spiritual kind of thing. Oh, this reading is going a particular way right now. Yes, yes, yes. And this is connected to some kind of spiritual or religious kind of thing. Yes. Well-known. Spiritual or religious, well-known. Or a well-known spiritual or religious area. Ground shaker situation. Um, something's going on. And there's definitely nine of wands. Um, protecting the fortress. Wherever you are, okay, you need to protect your space this weekend. From a person, place, or thing, or a group of people. You need to protect your, that might just be your kitchen or your living room or, or self, your sacred space, whatever, however you define your sacred space from a stalker or anything that isn't you, you need to protect, okay? I mean, like your home, your belongings, yourself or your family members, one and or all, okay? Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, right? Look over them. Not necessarily protect, but look after this weekend. And that may, that might just mean picking up the phone and saying, hey, how you guys, how's everybody? How y'all feeling? Everything cool? That's all. Very simple type of thing, Okay. Family, friends, loved ones, lovers, work colleagues, whichever. Just a simple phone call or a drive over. The elderly, making sure, just doing a little check, a check-in, a buddy up. You good? Just just call them and say hi, just seeing how you're doing. That's all. 
stopping in. You need a coffee? You need a you need a frozen meal? You, you need anything? That's all. Making sure everybody's okay. Not predicting any major there's nothing to be afraid of. I have to say that. It's just don't don't panic. Just be safe. Yeah. You're okay. Everything looks good. Protect your valuables too. Store up your eggs. Protect your valuables. Take care of a child or children. Send out love and kindness, sincerity. Oh, there's the tower. We're ending with that. There's definitely something up. Could be starting over the weekend. Could be going into the week. It's the beginning of something here is starting. It's not a doomsday reading. I know it sounds like it. But I mean, come on. When you get a card like this, sometimes, and that's twice in one reading, sometimes, um, you know, sorry, but it's not, a, oh, and every day is not skittles and rainbows with the readings. I mean, keep it real. You know, all week you've been getting like all this love. <laughs> okay. You've got hope though, so that's good. Hope and faith and wishes will be restored. Okay. And you've got a twin soul connection here. Some of you um, need to reach out to um, your other half, especially. And check in on them. Make sure your other half is okay. Whomever your other half is. Um... There's a new chapter. There's a new start coming in. After all this ish is happening, whatever this, you know, after the tower, the tower energy is kind of like the, the storm that comes in and washes away so that we can rebuild. It's not often a welcome storm, but it does clean out it cleans out the good, but it also cleans out the bad. It cleans everything, kind of like a tsunami. It washes, cleanses, leaves a mess, debris. But then it, it does give an opportunity to clear out and start over. Okay? And that's what the new chapter is here. This is the world. This might be a world event. This could just be your world, whatever your world consists of, your smaller world. Okay, so there's definitely a new beginning happening here. Okay, there's putting an end to something in your world for sure. Or the final chapter. You know, like I said in the beginning, you've got, it looked like somebody. So for those of you who was just a person, it looked like somebody that you thought might have something been done with seems to be creeping around. And it looks like some of you are going to finally put an end to that and protect your space so that you can finally get away from that situation and have a new start, okay? So it's the same message. It's just that it could be on a very small scale where it's just you and someone in particular or it's you and the entire world. So you're going to have to let this play out, okay? Because it may not be directly towards you personally. It may be you and then everything going on in your city, in your town, your city, your state, uh, your country, or the world, okay? It's a grand scale kind of thing because it is ending with the world. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave that there. I'm not going to be here tomorrow, so I'm just going to do the, the readings Monday through Thursday. I know I was going to do a Monday through Friday. I will be on my other channel, House of Virgo. If you want to pop in, I'll be live streaming there. On uh, October 13th, Friday, I will be telling a spooky story. If you want to pop in the chat, join the chat and just catch some of the spook. Um, yeah, just for fun. If you have nothing else to do, if you're not going anywhere, you're not doing anything, you can join in the chat. It's not any, I'm not doing any readings or anything like that. It's just spooky time. So join in, lots of fun, have a couple of drinks with everyone. And uh, yeah, 
hang out. All right, you guys. So have a great weekend. If I don't see you and I will see you all back here on Monday. Take care. Bye. I was the only one. No one likes being like two. You made this mess and left me with the peace.